Hi, Nicolas. Hi. Thanks. Hello. Yep. Hi. Michael, very good to see nice you to again, see again yeah, okay. after such a long time. So. <laughs> exactly. Thank yeah. you for having us here and you know, we work with, we, we've been working with Michael and Silica for a number of years and I would like Michael to show some of the products that we've been collaborating together and they have on, uh, on, on their sun. Very good. Yeah. So maybe just to mention, this is uh, the Avnet Silica boots we have here. So we are a distributor, we work very close with uh, ST Micro Electronics. So we have a very, very good cooperation with them. So and in fact, um, what we have here is a kind of AI, so artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, vision experience zone. So and, uh, what I will do maybe is to explain a bit more in detail about, um, uh, about the demos we have. But let me show you. So it's in fact, um, what we do here is we show phase two uh, demos. So we have one uh, specifically focused on vision. The other one is focused on uh, machine learning with, um, uh, with kind of classification. So this is the demo we have for people counting. So you see here an, uh, an ST board where we have an STM 32H747. Um, so this is a discovery board, so this is used for uh, development purposes. Uh, you also have a miniature camera module, which is put on a board, uh, which is connected then to, this, to the discovery board. So what we do here is, um, so as you can see, we capture people around here. So it's uh, people counting, it can be used for access control, for example. It can also be used for occupancy detection in a room, so to know how many people enter a room and to limit the maximum amount of people, for example. And so, by the way, what you see here is uh, the output. You can see the output of, on the screen, but it's, it's very small, it's very limited. Uh, but you'll see it also here, the number of people it recognizes. So it's an, uh, an object detection um, uh, tool, in fact. And this is how you can uh, see it as a, as a demo. In addition, we also have another uh, demo, so this is focused on anomaly detection. Yep, so it's in the Clio board, so it's also an ST microelectronics board. And what we have here is there is a kind of fan uh, connected to this board, and uh, we can detect if there is an issue with the fan, for example, and that's why we, why we call it a clocked fan. Uh, so that means, for example, what you can see here, and I don't know if you need to zoom in, but you see, for example, here the results. Uh, when you, for example, put something in front of the fan, then there is an issue. It's, it's clogged. So, but the background of this is, or the most important to tell about this, is that in fact, here you can implement machine learning by using a standard algorithm, but you can also uh, implement it that it's completely automatic learning itself. And then afterwards, when there is a kind of anomaly, which is not typically happening, then it will do the detection. So this is very nice because then you even do not have to create uh, your algorithm in detail. In fact, you have it then available already. You just restart the board, it will start learning. And uh, after a while, when it learned the algorithm itself automatically, it will uh, be able to detect if there is an anomaly. For example, if you have something in front of it and, and then it knows there is an issue. This can be of course with a fan, but you can imagine this also is like a motor uh, control, for example, where you have an issue. So this is, in fact, how it is implemented. Right. So oh. you have a lot of business going on with the ST? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, We work already many years uh, with, uh, with ST. So it's a very nice and very good cooperation we have, uh, <laughs> especially also with Marcelli. So Marcelli is the guy that uh, supports us a lot. So he's in the neighborhood again, so yes. yeah, we have a very close relationship. So of course, it's already many years. I remember we've been working on AI for well, what three years now, more. Four? Oh, it's even more. Right? Even more. Don't forget before COVID. Yeah, before COVID. COVID so. Exactly. But I think like it's about four or five, five years, years ago. Five years at least. Yeah. We also organized like uh, what we called an AI discovery uh, day. Webinars, seminars, 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 and, seminars, seminars, yes. yeah, yeah. and also uh, live 
physical events yes, before COVID. Yeah. Before yeah. COVID, and uh, yeah, it was and really hopefully we'll return to that. Who knows? Maybe we'll do it again. I'm quite sure. Ah. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take too long. At least we are here now today, so exactly. it's very nice. And you to can show the customers. Exactly, exactly. How does it They're feel to nice. be in a real show with real people? Oh well, it's a kind of relief, I would say, because uh, after getting stuck and um, being stuck at home, I would say it's really nice to be here and to see so many people because now you recognize uh, what it feels to have physical contact. We have not so seen each other for, no, for a three years and now yeah, we yeah, can yeah, see each other yeah. here, so it's great to be here. It's very nice. And it's so nice to see the ST booth. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Since 2019. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. It's been a great day. So, okay, so. Perfect. Thanks, Michael, again. Thank you very I much. I will take Nicholas to, to, to so see Giorgio just for a brief moment, okay? Excellent. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. We also have a, a power section here. So here is Giorgio Gallo. Uh, Hello, hi, Giorgio. Hey. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Again, Giorgio is a very, very well respected person within this. I don't think there is a, 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 a person within this who doesn't know Giorgio. He's a, he's a famous guy. Thank you. And Giorgio is specializing in the power product. So, Giorgio, maybe you would like to show something that of what you were sure, showing sure, and telling sure. the customers about power. Uh, I'm Giorgio Gallo. I'm based in Italy and technology specialist. I'm taking care about uh, uh, power solution and especially high power solution. And uh, we love uh, ST for several reasons. First of all, we speak also Italian so together with some of the colleagues, but uh, uh, ST solutions are perfect, especially for high power and new technology are great. Why uh, gam, uh, silicon carbide and uh, gallium nitride uh, solution are, are perfect. Here you, you can see a uh, uh, solution also from the uh, support point of view. We have a lot of reference design for uh, customer developing uh, battery charger for electrical vehicle. We have bi-directional solutions. This uh, board is shown at uh, STM Boots today. And uh, so we are receiving a great support even from the uh, technical point of view, software point of view, firmware point of view. Uh, ST is able to, uh, to support our activity to accelerate the customer design. You what know, are you seeing here? Oh, this is a bi-directional interface uh, for a number charger. So you desire to have a number charger in your car. This is the front end. It's the part of equipment connected to the grid. So when you plug the your car in the, the grid, so this is the front end. So it's for the energy to the car. You move the energy from the car to the vehicle, and in the future it will move the energy also from the vehicle to the grid. By direction. By direction. One way and the other way. So I have ST making components that are very reliable for high power stuff. Yes, absolutely. There are. Uh, let me. So what what is very good about uh, ST is <coughs> solution are very reliable. First of all, in this kind of technology, so we're talking about silicon carbide is the number one in the world. So. Uh, the quality is extremely high, and uh, ST can demonstrate the, the quality and the reliability based on facts. Facts means there are uh, many equipment in the field, and uh, ST can demonstrate the reliability of the product, not because number of paper, but because the, there are a lot of equipment working properly since here, and uh, many of us are uh, using this kind of equipment or uh, are driving this kind of vehicle. So. When, when you do projects with high power, are you a little bit nervous? Something goes bad? No, no. I'm uh, dealing with power since the very beginning of my career. I used to develop equipment for uh, uh, for aerospace, airborne, uh, this kind of application. And so I'm not nervous. So it's just a matter of uh, you need to be comfortable in dealing with power. And um, you have to work together with the other. Of course, you have to involve also the people having more competencies, uh, competencies specifically on uh, maybe on a certain part. Like, uh, let make an example. Uh, for example, this is a new package that ST developed, and uh, it's very smart because they, it is the only SMD module available in the market today. It's top-side tooling. So, this is something new for me. 
uh, with ST we are working together. I'm, uh, I'm calling the I'm calling the people. The, the people are supporting me because maybe I never used this kind of package, and uh, I'm receiving all the support I need to to converge and to develop something for uh, for my customer. Uh, sometimes is it like you have the connection with the customer? They have requests. You have requests. You get it over the ST. They make you a project, and it happens after a few months or year. Or how does it work? No, uh, typically, so um, we receive input. In certain cases, we receive input from customers. In certain cases, uh, uh, we also identify the customer that uh, are potentially you, uh, good customer for certain technology. So uh, we are. Uh, Proactively engaging some customers. Sometimes, sometimes we are, we are receiving input from uh, from customers because they have a special need. So what happened next is uh, typically I'm dealing with my counterpart in uh, in ST. We discuss about the project, the need. Also because we have a visibility much larger than the visibility they have uh, customer have. So uh, typically we interact, we discuss one to each other, we prepare the meeting, we prepare the we decide how to properly customer depending on the need and maybe the customer has the need, uh, technical needs maybe also there is something related to the fact that the customer has to do something uh, we take into consideration several aspects of the project not only the technical aspect but also the uh, the commercial aspect when the certain part has to be has to be has to move into production so and typically we're working together so now no special secret working together, discussing together, and uh, supporting one to each other to find the best solution to, to help customers to convert. Uh, of, of such cooperation is we, 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 were, we, were, we were doing EV charging webinars together, for example, earlier this year. And we're planning to do more of those webinars to, so that Sidica can bring their customers closer to our products and, uh, and we can win together some nice opportunities and make sure that those customers are using uh, the latest and greatest technology when it comes to the EV charging or charging in general. Uh, without asking for any secret specifics, uh, I guess there's some really cool projects people do amazing stuff and you know about it and you help them make it happen. Sure. Uh, especially for new technologies, so silicon carbine and gallium nitride, there are uh, many cool projects and uh, I'm sure we'll see, also you will see something on the road soon. Uh, typically we have an NDA in place with the customer we are, and the ST as well and uh, we are working together so I'll say uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, often we ask information, detailed information uh, to customer because maybe we have some good solution in our pocket but the solution are not public yet because the market is very competitive. So it is happening and uh, we are already aware about uh, some product which will be available in the market maybe during the next uh, one, two years. And we are working daily with this kind of... What's in the market next one, two years? Can you come with the uh, you will... information? No. Or you what do you really want to see? Nicholas is what trying to probe about? you for some no. secrets. Okay. Uh, the, the, the stuff will be faster, smaller, better and cooler. No, I'll, I'll say... And it. cheaper, right? And... I'm joking. <laughs> But for the customer, I'm sure it will be, because if things are smaller, they need to use a smaller heatsink, yeah. they need to use smaller components, uh, it's lighter, so the eventually the customer will be driving a lighter car further. Uh, okay, the, the car might cost a little bit more, but if it's, if it's no, better, will... then they will save some money. No, uh, sure. So what, what is happening, uh, vehicle electrification, for example, is a, um, uh, is a mega trend, it's evident. It's not just related to the electrical vehicles, uh, but uh, many other vehicles you may have in the, um, we may use. For example, the, uh, the the small tractor you find in an airport or the forklift you find in an industry. And so, uh, all many vehicles which has been mechanics in the past are becoming electrical. Uh, you have more efficient. Uh, more green, you are not producing pollution. For example, you have a forklift uh, moving in uh, an area like this one, they are producing pollution. So, uh, there is a, the need uh, for electrical vehicle yeah. is evident not only because of the efficiency, the noise, but also 
because there are uh, people inside and uh, of course you don't want to smell uh, fumes and stuff. To smell fumes yeah. or maybe you have also small equipment to clean up the floor. So I'll say there is a, there are mega trends. All uh, all vehicles and not talking just about cars but buses or something to move the aircraft from the aircraft from the parking place. Exactly. Or uh, equipment to clean up the floor will be will be electrical, and this is a mega trend. Uh, and uh, ST has perfect solution, number one in the market, best part. We are receiving the uh, a great support, so there are many good reasons to to work together. So thank you very much, Georgia. Hey, thank you, Marcelli, thank, you <laughs> hey, hey, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Nicolas, for, uh, thank for having Nicolas. us here.